From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning, everybody. I'm student meteorologist Ryan McElgott here with your Campus Weather Service forecast for this Friday morning. Starting off with our usual live look from Beaver Stadium, we have the sun coming up and we have some clouds moving out. We did have some showers this morning, but as you can see here, we're looking for another clear day. Currently sitting at 61 right now, actually across the board. Temperature feels like and dew point. Visibility 10 miles an hour and 10 mile an hour winds out of the west southwest. We do have some weather headlines coming on right now. Last night, it was spooky hot, as you might want to say. We had Halloween and record highs actually pushing 80 around State College. So very unusual, but very pleasant to take in. We do have a football forecast coming up for you guys. We are looking at some seasonal temps for the big game tomorrow. And for the weekend ahead after that, looking for some lower but still pretty comfy temps and conditions for the rest of your weekend and moving into the work week. I'm going to start off with our temperature change here. As you can see, we were pushing some very, very high all-time, actually, uh, temperatures for the region. Across the Commonwealth, we are up 22 degrees from the night before. And this is just in the last 24 hours. Very incredible to see. Very pleasant to uh, take in, too, must say. We are looking at another cold front come through, though, so a bit of a change in our pattern. Um, eastern part of the state, we're still looking pretty warm, down around 68 in some regions, but if you're up near Erie, it's going to be pretty cold, and that's going to be the case for a lot of the Commonwealth as we move forward with some fluctuation. You can see here that cold front once again moving out of the area with some of our clouds and some rain, some showers fired up a little bit earlier on the west edge, but those are clearing out now towards the east. You're looking at those clear out in the next few hours, plus some clouds moving out. Eventually, will be mostly clear for the rest of the day. And looking more at the big picture, that will be the case for the next few days. It's pretty calm out there for the rest of the United States, at least for now. We do have this massive cold front moving up and down uh, through along the East Coast. That'll move away, and we'll wait for our next pattern change to come in. Looking at our pressure tracker here, we are going to be looking for another ridge to move in. This will kind of hold firm for much of the weekend before we see another pattern change with a low pressure and maybe some more showers, different conditions to look for. And of course, with our future weather, we can see we'll be relatively cloudless for uh, much of the rest of today. And it is Saturday for a big game. And into Sunday, too, before we begin to see some more of those clouds and a bit more of that rain approach. Of note right now is the fact that it has been very dry. We got some help this morning and we will have some help into the next work week. But we are looking at some drought conditions, especially out near Philadelphia and more towards Pittsburgh too. Center of the state actually is not too bad at the moment, but we are looking for some help. So for today, looking at a high of 62, back to reality, frankly, after we were in the 80s yesterday. But we will be um, getting some clear skies by the afternoon and some winds around 10 to 14 miles an hour with some gusts up to 20, so hold on to your head. For tonight, we got some of that chill back once again. We're down to 35, but mostly clear. Some calmer winds to look for, and that leads us right into the football forecast. The big game, number, number three, Penn State versus number four, Ohio State. Probably the biggest game I'll experience in my college career. We're looking at pretty chilly for the tailgates, 44 in the morning by kickoff at noon. We're looking at uh, temps near 51 and then high of 57, hopefully by the end of what will be a very good game. And as we look at our seven day forecast looking forward, once again, we're back to those autumn temperatures, more seasonable. Uh, by Saturday, of course, go lines should be pretty decent for um, game time and for the rest of that day, regardless of how it goes. For Sunday, um, our clocks fall back of note, so get your extra hour of sleep, you'll wake up to high of six, uh, 57 and just a few clouds, pretty good. And then Monday, as we get into the next work week, we are looking at our next pattern change. So we may see some showers, but we are a little bit warmer. Tuesday's election day, so get out there and vote. We'll have some great weather for that. High of 72, um, mostly sunny, low 56, so still pretty warm, maybe our last few days of that. Wednesday, we are looking at some more showers to work through as our pattern becomes a little bit more unsettled, but still a high of 68, so when it's not raining, get out there, might be pretty good. And for Thursday, it's clear, but it's also a little bit cool. So 
maybe a bit of a change in things, but just get out there and enjoy it because it's pretty decent. So without further ado, I'm Ryan McElgott for the Campus Weather Service. Thank you for watching. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Go Lions.